Hey everyone, Kaylee, your friendly neighborhood hairstylist here, and today we're doing some wearable braids inspired by Game of Thrones. It's no secret at this point that I'm kind of a Game of Thrones fan, and I did my Daenerys evolution video, I did my Sansa evolution video, and as I was doing the Sansa one, I was like, you know, you would only have to change this slightly to be a really great summer hairstyle. And thus, this video was born. <laughs> Today we're gonna simplify. We're gonna make this accessible for everyone, whether your hair is finer or shorter or whatever, or than the Game of Thrones ladies with the long, luscious hair. <laughs> and you know, whether you watch the show and however you felt about the ending, the hairstyles are great and we can enjoy them forevermore. So let's just go ahead and get into it. <laughs> let's get started with this half up do inspired by Cersei, Catelyn, and Sansa. <laughs> Quick FYI, you can do these hairstyles on any hair texture. I have mine curled with a one inch curling iron, nothing special, just wrapped it around and now I'm ready to go. <laughs> so the first thing you're gonna do is take a section on each side of your part and braid it to the end and secure it with a bobby pin. And now you can go ahead and fluff up the braids a little bit, however big you want to get them. I'm just gonna do like a medium amount. Now that these braids are done, you're going to pull them to the back and secure it with an elastic. If your braids are pretty short like mine, you can pick up a little bit of extra hair to give the elastic something to hold onto. That way, if you're working with just little ends, you've got a little bit more to help you out. Now with this hairstyle, you have the option to put it in a bun or not. If you're gonna put it in the bun, you're done with that first braid. If you're not going to, I would wrap some hair around the elastic. I'm gonna put this little topsy tail slash hair beater up and through the elastic, wrap a little bit of hair around the elastic, put it through the mouth of the hair beater and pull it back through and you're done. It's the easiest way to wrap hair around an elastic linked below. <laughs> and there you go, first braid down. Now you're gonna take a large section on each side, the exact size is up to you. You're gonna twist both sides and then bring them back into a hair elastic, also including the ponytail from our first braids. And let down some baby hairs. And finally, if you want to, wrap that with some hair. And now that we're here, you could stop, and this is a really pretty hairstyle on its own. If your hair is too short to make the bun, you could definitely stop here and have a great beachy hairstyle. But if you wanna do the bun, here's how. You're gonna grab the ponytail that we have, and if you need to, a little bit more hair, twist it loosely, and then grab a little piece at the end of the hair and scrunch it back up. And wrap that scrunched hair into the shape of a bun and pin it in place. Side note, if you are gonna do the bun, you don't have to wrap the hair around the elastics as you're doing the first part of this hairstyle. And that is the hairstyle. We see Sansa, Catelyn, and Cersei wear this at different times throughout the story, so I thought it would be a fun one to adapt. It's also really pretty and easy to do and wear, so I think it could be a good go-to for summer. Whether your hair is long or short, whether you do it with or without a bun, it's super cute. And now we're on to a Marjorie Tyrell inspired half updo. Now y'all super love this character, so I was definitely gonna do something inspired by her. I do recommend that you start out with curled hair, and then if your hair is fine, I recommend putting some texturizing spray into it because that will help it to really pop in the twist a lot more. That being said, hairstyle time. <laughs> I'm doing mine with my normal side part, but Marjorie has a center part, so you can do that if you want. I'm gonna start off by making a rope braid on each side of my part, all the way down the hair, and then securing it with the bobby pin to hold it in place. Notice that these are just to my shoulders, so if you have a bob, you should be fine with this step. And I'm just gonna take these to the back and pin them in place one over the other. But if you don't like bobby pins, you could also use a hair elastic. And now for the next step, you're gonna section all the hair in front of your ears. And with these, we're gonna create the twists that go under the rope braid. So you're gonna take a hairbrush and brush back one side so that it's nicely flowing back and under that braid. Then you're gonna twist it a couple of times and grab a little tiny piece of hair at the end push the rest of the twist up and then loosen it a little bit. Basically that helps to fluff up the twist, make it a little bit more voluminous. Then you can manipulate it around a little bit if you need and once it's where you like, go ahead and pin it underneath the rope braid. And then if you're looking back at the front and you see that there's a gap between your twist and your rope braid, you can kind of pick this up and put a pin in there as well to hold that in place. And then if you want any little baby hairs around your face, you can just kind of free those. And now we do the other side. This one you're doing it the exact same way, but you're going to put it over the bobby pin that we just put in, and then bobby pin up and into the twist to hide the very last one. 
basically every layer that we've been putting over should be hiding bobby pins as we go. You just wanna make sure for this last one you're sticking it into the twist so then you can't see it at all. And there is our Marjorie Tyrell inspired half updo. This has the same kind of shape that she did, but it's a lot simpler and you know, you don't need a mountain of hair to be able to do it. I think this could definitely go for weddings or I could even see it just being a chill everyday hairstyle. So it's pretty much good for anything. And now moving on to some Sansa Stark inspired braids. You know when I said there was a Sansa Stark hairstyle that inspired this whole video? This is the one. <laughs> okay, first things first, you're going to start with a center part and then you're going to section off the hair from the temples up on each side and clip everything else out of the way. Now the only hair that's left out is the hair that we're braiding, which makes everything much easier. <laughs> Our next step is to do a Dutch braid on each side of the part, braiding all the way back until you've incorporated all the hair that you've left down and then finish off the hair with a normal braid. And now you're just going to pull apart each braid to voluminize it a little bit. And now that the braids are done, you can take the clips out. We're gonna finish out the hairstyle just like Sansa did. We're going to wrap the braids around each other and then secure it with an elastic. And I recommend pinning at the top where the braids cross for the first time to make sure everything stays crisscross nicely. And for the final touch, I'm going to add in a hair clip on the end of the braid. It's definitely good to have an elastic in there, especially if your hair is a little sparse, because it gives the clip something to hold on to. And those are Sansa Stark's braids. They're very similar to the original, but I really like it pulled apart and with the clip added, it's just extra beachy and it's pretty easy to do. So it's a good one. <laughs> and now onto this Daenerys inspired braid from the only early hairstyle of hers that I didn't do in my last video. For this hairstyle, you're gonna start with a lace braid on each side going towards the back. Then braid a couple inches normally and secure it with a bobby pin. And now I'm gonna go through and fluff this up a little bit. And now repeat the same thing on the other side. And now I'm going to differ from the original hairstyle. I'm just gonna bring these two braids together and secure them with an elastic. We have one more set of braids, but if you have shorter hair, this might be a good place to stop. Now that you have your first set of braids in, let's move on to the second set of braids. First, you're gonna split your hair in half, and then on one side, you're gonna start doing a Dutch braid that follows right along the nape of your neck. And you wanna start that right behind your ear because that just makes things a lot easier. <laughs> then braid the rest of your hair normally and secure it with a bobby pin. Now we're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. And now if you want to, you can pull these two braids apart. The final step is to bring these two braids together. So you're going to secure the end of both braids together with an elastic and then go in with bobby pins and attach them throughout the braid. You don't have to do a lot, just enough to where the braid's not separated because <laughs> you don't want that. And you're done. I do love this for any time. It is, you know, made for the elements, one in particular, no spoilers. It's a good hairstyle just in general for looking cute every day or extra cute by the pool. And finally, we have this hairstyle that is loosely inspired by King's Landing. So for this hairstyle, we're gonna create a Dutch rope braid, which sounds complicated, but it's not, mostly. You're gonna start by splitting your hair in half and then we're gonna braid one side at a time. To make a Dutch rope braid, you're gonna start by taking a section right up next to your part and your hairline and split it in two. Then you twist each section in one direction and wrap it in the other. For this hairstyle, you're going to twist it away from your face and then wrap it toward your face. Once you've got that started, you're going to add in hair, but you're only adding in hair to the section that's right next to your face. This one is always chilling. <laughs> you're basically gonna take a section of hair diagonally from your part to your hairline, and that goes into the front section of the rope braid. Twist it away from the face, and then wrap toward. And then you just continue doing that. You're gonna pick up your section diagonally, put it with the front piece of hair, twist, and wrap. Then once your sections get a little bigger, you might need to pick them up in two steps. So I'm gonna pick up my diagonal from the back and put it with the front section. And then I'm gonna pick up my diagonal from the front. So it's that same diagonal parting, it's just doing it in two steps rather than trying to hold a whole lot of hair at once because that gets complicated. Now we're gonna take a quick detour for a short hair modification. <laughs> once you've got your Dutch braid to behind your ear, go ahead and braid the rest normally and secure it with an elastic. And by normally, I mean rope braided normally. <laughs> 
If you want to, you can do a little massage on the braid to kind of fluff it apart. And then you repeat this on the other side and that is it for the short hair version of this hairstyle. This will look cute on short or long hair, especially if you don't want to Dutch braid the entire thing, but I wanted to give you an option if you don't have a whole lot of endage to work with. And now, back to the long hair version. <laughs> Basically, you keep Dutch rope braiding until all the hair is incorporated and then you rope braid the end normally. And once you've got all that done, you can go in and massage to pull apart the braid if you want to. Also, if the braid is kind of departing from your head in any weird way, you can pin it down. This time it worked out for me, but I've had times before where I had like a bump here or it being too loose here. It's really normal. Just go in with a bobby pin and stick it back to your head. <laughs> and now you just repeat the same thing on the other side. So there is our King's Landing inspired hairstyle. I was originally just going to do rope braided pigtails for it and then I was like, wait, why just do rope braided pigtails when you can do a Dutch rope braid? Also, I like that it has volume up here at the crown to somewhat mimic the volume that there are in King's Landing hairstyles without going all the way there. And there you go, those are our Game of Thrones inspired hairstyles. I hope that you guys like it. I think they're so great. I will fully be wearing these for summer, especially this one for the pool. I think so useful. You know, whatever you think about Game of Thrones, the hairstyles were pretty cool. So I really like being able to translate them into real life, into things that I can wear and enjoy and have that like little nod to a series that I at least super loved. That being said, I am probably done with the Game of Thrones content until Halloween. Hit me up with whatever hairstyles you want to see around then because, you know, I'll be doing it. But for now, I want to move on with the Hair Evolution series, but do it for different fandoms, different movies, TV shows, pop culture figures, anything like that. So if you have any requests, leave them in the comments. I definitely need inspiration for who to do next. And obviously your request will take me a long way in that direction. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to hit the like button to help support my channel and let me know that you enjoyed it. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button to join the Bradaholic family. Here on Kaylee and Melissa, I teach you guys how to do all kinds of cool stuff with your hair. And of course, all of y'all can hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time I post a new video. That's it for today. Whether you are old or new or a casual lurker, thank you for spending time with me and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah! Bye. This is my dire wolf, Shaggy Dog. The last groomer cut his hair too long. It's only been a few weeks and he looks like an Ewok in the winter. Ew. All right, you wanna get down? Okay. <laughs> it's that look. That's how he tells me yes. He just looks at me very fervently. He goes, do you wanna eat? Do you want a toy? Do you wanna go O-U-T-S-I-D-E? Do you want a bath? <laughs>